If you've seen other videos on my channel, you know that this is my daily Marty, the 2018 Mazda CX-5 I picked up about six months ago or so, and it's actually time to get tires. And I thought I would try something new. I could have just went to the shop, got tires, do the normal thing, but that wouldn't be as much fun for you. So I'm actually trying out a new feature from Tire Rack where they actually bring a van to your home and they install them right there on the spot. And it's only like $20 more. So I thought, how cool. Let's check this out and I'll document how it goes for you. And here are the tires that are being replaced. Toyo A36, all four are the same. They actually are the tires that came with the car originally. I'm only at 34,000 miles and they're already worn out because the manufacturers don't want to put great tires on here. I thought I had a little bit of time. If you look at the back, they're actually not horrible. There's a little bit of life still in them, but the fronts are pretty, pretty worn out to the point where it's actually getting dangerous and they're actually starting to crack quite a bit as well. And it got even more urgent when I noticed this last week, the dreaded nail in the tire. Now, actually it's held up all week and hasn't lost any pressure, but maybe because I've parked it as well, I've been reviewing another car. So I figured let's order the tires. And by the time I'm done with the other car, I'll have new tires on Marty. So here's the space we're working with. I actually live in Venice Beach, California. It's a very condensed area. The ocean's right over there. Um, I usually park in this garage down here, but they said they need like 12 feet clearance. I assume that's because it comes on a sprinter van. So luckily my neighbors, aren't home it is the morning time so i'm hoping this will work if this doesn't work i do have a backup plan there's a parking lot nearby maybe we can make that work uh my appointment was between nine and noon it's about 9 15 right now and the guy actually just called me and said he's on the way so it looks like they're going to keep their appointment time that's a good first sign my original plan was to do this at my office which has a huge parking lot but then i put the zip code in for that even though it's only five miles away it said they couldn't do the installation there which i thought was odd so make sure to check that it's actually available to install in your area before doing this and one thing i just noticed why i don't want to do it here as well Look at this, right next to the tire with the nail in it. I found another nail just laying on the ground. So as I suspected, he said he can't do it here. There's not enough space, even though it only said online that he had six feet on each side and they definitely had six feet on each side. He was worried about my road here, which is basically just an alley. And it technically is a one way street, but no one really cares. And he said his door needed to be open this way. So his car would have been pointing the wrong direction. I don't know, seemed like a weird excuse. And I offered to go in the parking lot next door and then he said, yeah, that's a good idea. And I was like, okay, let me get my keys. I'll be right back. And he disappeared. I, I don't know where he went. So um, I called him twice now and he's not answering the phone. So really not sure what's going on. I'm a little bit confused right now. As usual, nothing goes smoothly with me. So <laughs> a little bit of confusion. He said my spot wouldn't work out. We actually ended up down at the beach lot down the street, 20 bucks a car, which is a whole nother issue, but it's okay. There's plenty of space here. If you can't do it here, you can't do it anywhere. This is Luis, he's the tire installer. He's gonna crush this install right now. Uh, he's jacking it all up. Should be a pretty quick process. He said about an hour total. Give you a look at his setup here. And the new tires, Pirelli, Scorpions, same size as came with the car, 225, 55, 19s, and they are V speed rated. This should be a lot better tire. Um, they're supposed to last twice as long as the Toyos that are currently on the car, so we'll find out. More potential issues, the security guy is showing up, but hopefully we're okay. So I think the security guard's chill, they're just having a little conversation over there. Oh, he's already got the first tire off, so we can have a look at how this looks here. My rotors are a little bit rusty, I live by the beach, I think that might be why the salty air. So here's the setup inside, we got balancing machines, take the tire on and off, pretty sweet deal. He's got the second one off already! so easy I want one of those <laughs> you can see how bad my tire was <laughs> probably a good thing uh, I'm getting them installed because these were pretty rough just like that I got a new tire all right now we got to balance the tire we took all the old weights off and probably we'll have to add some new ones on
So your monitor will just tell you exactly where to put the weights? Yes. Or? Yeah, so he just fills up vibration all the time. And like the amount and everything? Yeah, it tells you exactly where to put it. Awesome. It has a laser that tells you. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah, you oh, so you just got to put the weight where the you laser is? Even if I move it, it comes back. Oh, that's awesome. So it says put the new weights there and the old weights are actually up here. This is the new set of weights. And I'm guessing you just run it again and it tells you? Yeah. Marty's all done, he's got some new shoes. Louise hooked it up, maybe like an hour and a half, I think. But these new tires look good. This one does have the tire pressure monitor system. They take care of that. Uh, tire pressure is all set up all around. I'm gonna take it for a test drive. Hopefully everything's all good, but it was super easy. You don't even have to sign any paperwork or anything. They charge the card that you bought the tires with. Maybe two hours, like from beginning to end, said and done. Taking it for a spin. What a difference new tires make. I've only been through the city so far, but it just feels so much better. I'm about to hop on the freeway to make sure everything's good, but so far, tried and true, super straight. It's just like you went to the tire shop, but honestly, I think it's even better because for one, you don't have to sit at the dumb tire shop or get an Uber back to wherever you're going and pay extra money for that. Now true, I did have to pay $20 extra to get a parking spot. That's probably not gonna apply to you. And he said, even though I wanted to do it at my office, where it was located, the website said they couldn't do it there. He actually told me that he installed tires at a place right next to my office. So they should have been able to do it. And I should have just given him a phone call and it probably could have been done there and it wouldn't have been as much drama, but it wouldn't have been as much fun for you either. The other point to not going to these tire guys is it's mostly just guys that don't give a crap and there's a bunch of them in there and they just, they try to upsell you or they just slap the tires on and mess up your rims. And then they just pass on responsibility and say, it wasn't me, it was the other guy, it was them, it was them. And I like, call a corporate line. So with this, at least it's like one person. So there's no one else to put the blame on if something goes wrong. Uh, thankfully, nothing seemed to have gone wrong with mine and it is pretty straight. I'm just getting on the freeway now, so we'll see how that goes. But so far, so good. I don't know why you would go to the tire shop anymore. Order them on tire rack, have them come out to your house, assuming they can go to your place and get it done there. It was $130 for the install. Uh, plus the tires were about $1,000. So all in, I'm at like $1,100. And I cross shopped it with Costco to compare full tires and it was gonna be $1,100 anyways. So usually Costco is about the cheapest place you can find. And for 30 more dollars, I will gladly sit at home, try to get some work done, which I really did not get any work done. <laughs> but at least I got to chill at home while they were doing my tires and keep an eye on them at the same time. Pretty awesome deal. I don't get paid anything from Tire Rack for doing this. I wish I did. Like I said, it cost me $1,100 and I don't get paid anything for making this video. <laughs> so it's a lose-lose for me and a lot of extra work. So I really have no incentive to recommend this service other than the fact that it was a really good service. And I'm on the freeway now. I'm doing 70 miles per hour. The car feels great. It's better than ever because I actually bought the car used with those tires just 8,000 miles ago and you saw how worn out they were. They were pretty junky tires. The new ones are great. And I think I like my car even better. I love the Mazda CX-5. I got the video on the full car if you wanna check it out. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. I need subscribers. Like the video, give it a comment. Hopefully it'll help take off and I can grow the channel and then eventually get paid. But like I said, for now, not making any money. I'll see you next time.